Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Niara Alexis. If you're new here, I cover hair, makeup, and a little bit of luxury. And today I'm gonna be reviewing the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. So if you've been interested in this product and wanna hear what I have to say about it, then just keep watching. the shade 5 in. It actually took me a little while to be able to find my shade in store. I had to go to a couple of different stores. This is a professional performance waterproof and sweat resistance foundation. Custom build foundation natural glow finish. So we know that if anything says natural or glowy we should expect a little bit of radiance, a little bit of shine. It's not a matte foundation. So it says there are three ways you can wear this. A light nude coverage using your fingers to dab on one layer of foundation. You can do medium coverage to apply two layers with a flat brush and then a full coverage um, with a round brush apply three layers. Also, yes, the braids. Wow, I just snatched out a whole piece of hair. I just put these braids in. So this is the packaging. This is a plastic bottle. It's not glass. It does just have like a little squeezy top. And let's see how much product comes in here. You get 1.6 fluid ounces. That's how much I have on my hand. And I'm gonna actually try to do all three ways of how they suggest you can apply this. This is a mattifying primer by Cover Effect. By Cover Effects, girl. <laughs> and look, I don't like using my hands for things, but I'm gonna do this for y'all's sake. So I just have like, hold on, two. And I'm just gonna rub it in with my hands. I do not like putting foundation on with my hands. I just, I haven't like, I don't like having dirty hands and that just, that's what it makes me feel like. Off the rip, this does have a scent. So if you are sensitive to smell, um, just keep that in mind. That is one layer, not gonna lie. I love this for an everyday look. The second way to apply, it says two layers with a flat brush. Okay, so I have my flat brush. So I'm just gonna dip this in here. As far as color match, I feel like this did pretty well. Like it matches my current skin tone pretty good I feel like. So that is two layers. So I would say this, it's building up okay. A round br a brush, use a round, ugh, use a round brush and apply three layers of foundation in circular motions, all right? This is as round of a brush as we have. I I don't like the scent of this though. Let me, um, let me just say that, like I, I don't, I don't like that florally smell. Like, I don't know who making this. It's our third and final layer. That's a bit more than I actually like to apply personally, but you know, doing it for y'all. Now you guys know whenever I try out a new foundation, I like to do a oil and transfer test. Um, I just have these oil sheets. I get these off of Amazon. This side, I will do it just naturally foundation by itself and then this other side i will put a little bit of setting powder on to test how it differs so i'm just gonna press this up typically when it sticks to the skin like that that means it's either picked up a lot of product and it's gonna transfer a lot or there's a lot of oil right away i can see the sheet is darkening quite a bit and we do have a fair amount of transfer on there so, come on baby kids. Without anything on your face, you're gonna transfer and you're gonna have some oil coming off. Now for my other side, I'm using Laura Mercier's Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I have all three shades of this, but I'm using the translucent one because I don't want the color to interfere with like my transfer test at all. So I just have some on my brush here and I'm just going to pat it right here in this area. Right away, you can notice like this side just looks a little like super smoothed out. I like the finish of how it looks with the powder. I feel like this is gonna do really good with setting powder. It won't even stick. So with these oil absorbing sheets, they really only stick if they're picking up product or if there's a lot of oil. This barely wants to stay on. I had a feeling, y'all there is, let me just compare. There's no oil no oil whatsoever being picked up with setting powder 
and hardly any product is coming off. But find a setting powder that you like and you're gonna wanna use that when you wear this foundation to make it last, I won't say all day, but to make it last longer than it would without. So, this is my finished look with the foundation. I feel like the color match is chef's kiss spot on, like I said. If I do tan this summer, I will need to get a darker shade. Overall, I feel like this foundation is good. What will make it great is if it was unscented. Like, it's a super florally scent. So if you are any type of sensitive to scents, if you have reactions to like scented products, you're gonna have to skip it because it is a heavily scented type of foundation in my opinion. Everything else though, I love. I love the packaging. Um, this is be super easy to travel with. It's not glass, so you don't have to worry about it breaking. It just squeezes right out. Only thing I could say is like with the having to squeeze it, I could see like once you kind of get like almost to the end of it, you're probably not gonna be able to get all the product out of it. Also, there are three different ways that you can apply this. And as we saw, this is a super buildable foundation, which is great for this foundation being on the higher end side. You can get multiple uses out of it and wear it three different ways. Um, so we like being able to stretch our coin. My other thing about this is if you're gonna wear it and you wanna wear it all day, I highly recommend you putting on a setting powder with it. As we saw with my transfer and oil test, once I put that setting powder on, there was no oil oil coming off of this foundation and there was no transfer at all. I see why the girls always be like, ooh, we're not on over this. I wanted to wait to review this until I had the concealer, but I figured go ahead and review it. Um, but I am gonna be picking up the new concealer that came out as well and reviewing that soon too. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.